it did it finally work hello mrs bernie hello well finally we tried and tried and tried it's so good to see you thanks see you. it's good to see you too do you know i looked up in my records i talked to you three and a half years ago do you understand yeah three and a half that's a long time ago and yeah. now you are much bigger <laughs> thanks yeah so um i have now been when i talked to you last time i was still sort of new at cambly now i have been on cambly for five years so Correct. i've been here for a long time and um you uh when i last talked to you i think you were about 11. yeah i'm 11. I think you were in fifth grade. Yeah, that's correct. So what grade are you in now? I'm ninth grade. Ninth, you're in, now, is that in Turkey, is that in high school or middle school or junior high? Um, he, high school. It's been Good high for school. you. Good for you. So, Thanks. and um, now many of my Turkish students who are in high school are taking, of course, Turkish but also English, and some of them also take German. Oh, I didn't take German. Okay. I have so, only take English in, at school. Okay, okay. Now, because of your time on Cambly, do you think your English class is easy or difficult or in the middle? Um, it's easy for me. Okay, okay. So, what do you think makes it easy? Is it your time on Cambly or have you traveled and had to speak English? What do you think? Um, I think uh, for, uh, before I speak, I didn't know Cambly. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't speak too much. So my English is bad. Now, uh, after I start to speak with Cambly, uh, I have much more experience with uh, mm. speaking so my mm. speaking and english learn um, english is being better good good um now let me ask this because other students in other countries have told me this they have said that um a lot of their english classes at school are uh, grammar spelling and reading but that they almost never speak English. Do you think that's true of your school? Uh, it's correct. Mm -hmm. Because um, lots of students didn't understand anything about English. So mm -hmm. um, they talk Turkish with teacher. So mm -hmm. the teacher must t speak with them Turkish too. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, one of my students, do you know the, the country, the island Taiwan? Yeah. Okay. One of my students told me that the that he takes English every day, but that the only time he speaks English is when he speaks with me. Um, do you ever speak any English at school? Uh, I usually speak English at school. Okay. So uh, is your school an English speaking school? No. Are you in Ankara by any chance? Yeah. I'm at Ankara. That's funny because I have another student in Ankara and he goes to an all English school that it's English all day, except for Turkish class is in Turkish, but yeah. Huh? Yeah. So very interesting. Very interesting. Correct. Well, I wanted to show you a word of the day, but now I have a feeling you might know it already because your English is, you have grown so much since I talked to you last time. So take a look at this word. And before you read the definition, do you recognize this word? Um, which one? Uh, the, the big word in the center there, this one right here. Numerous. Okay, numerous, numerous. I understand. What do you think, what does that word mean? Um, do you know it up here or do you need to read it? I need to read it. Okay, go ahead and read that then. Uh, if people or things are numerous, they exist 
or are present in large numbers okay so large numbers of something now i realize you're a teenager not a little child but i have these next to me here my grandchildren come and play with these i understand and in this can there are hundreds of little blocks yeah now how many are in here i don't know it's numerous oh i understand okay so sometimes when we use nu numerous we mean it's more than you can count or it's more than you want to count i don't want to count all these so numerous is is a large amount now i also wanted to look at this look at the word numerous and look that it ends o u s o u s yeah do you know what it means when a word ends in o u s else and um, can it can account can we uh, count right but let me show you this so here's what i mean okay so the original word was number but it becomes numerous yeah the original word is nerve but it becomes nervous okay um the original word was joy but it becomes joyous okay when you put o-u-s at the end of some words it changes it into an adjective yeah i understand okay now do, tell me what an adjective is um adjective that's something um I don't know how to say. I don't know how to say. I okay. Can't say how about if I tell if I write this? Okay. So an adjective is a descriptive word. So when I saw you and I said you look older, older is an adjective. It describes you. Um, you are taller. Okay. Taller is an adjective. It would describe you. Um, I hope you're happy to speak to me. I'm happy to finally see you. Happy is an adjective. Okay. So okay. when we take a word like number, which is a noun, and it becomes numerous, now it's a describing word. It's an adjective. When we take nerve and it becomes nervous, nerve was a noun, nervous is an adjective. So it is a describing word. Okay. And numerous is a describing word. Okay. Okay. I'm sure you have, you have adjectives in Turkish too, right? The words that yeah. describe me. What does it say here? Sifat is yeah. an adjective, a describing word. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now I happen to remember one thing about you and that was that you were a bit interested in um, space and space science. So, I thought you might be interested in this story. Do you remember when this happened? Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. Now, um, former Turkish fighter pilot becomes first citizen to fly in space. Now, you know what this is, right? Yeah. Turkish. Do you know what former means? Um, former, um, some, um, people that doing something. Good try. Good try. Former means in the past. Past. So, um, for example, um, formerly you were smaller. Okay. In the past. Okay. So past. I think what it means is that he was a fighter pilot, but he no longer is a fighter pilot. He doesn't do that anymore. Now he is an astronaut and he's not a fighter pilot. I understand. Okay. All right. Do you know what it means to be a citizen? Um, is it like an astronaut? Oh, sorry. The people well, at first? Right. Just people. 
you are a citizen of Turkey. I am a citizen of the United States. It just means that you are a normal person. So he is the first Turkish citizen to become an astronaut. I understand. Now, this part you're going to have to tell me. How do you say that name? I can't I can't say that name. Alper Gezer Avcı. Gezer Avcı. Yeah. Gezer Avcı. Alper. Now, Alper, I have never heard that name Alper before. Is that a common name in Turkey? Uh, actually, yes. Okay. Okay. Now, I have friends whose last name, whose surname is Alper, but I've never seen it as a first name. So there he was. Now, okay. I noticed that astronauts from three countries were in space. Swedish from Sweden, Turkish from Turkey, and Italian. Italian is from where? Italy. Italy, that's right. Okay. All right. So let's take a look at this. Let me make it a little bit bigger for you, Rezan. That's a little small. There, that's a little better. Okay. All right. Can you read this paragraph for me? Um, of course. A, pro a private three week trip to International Space Station came, and, uh, came to an end of. Friday as astronaut from Sweden, Tur Turkey and Italy returned to Earth, a writer, NASA astronaut who certainly works for Ax Axiom Space, the Houston-based business that organized uh, the created flight. Chartered. Chartered. Flight, uh, huh? I can't Chartered. See it. Chartered. Chart Chartered. Um, flights uh, accompanied Florida the crew made a safe return last month Turkey com commemorated, commemorated, commemorated. commemorated of his nation to fly in space he was a former fighter pilot and captain for Turkish Airlines very good now um this has one mistake. This was originally written in Turkish and then translated into English. Do you understand what crash means? Um, uh, it's land off. Right, right. But crash means to land very hard, like that's crash. Yeah, I understand. It did not crash. If it had crashed, the astronauts would die, okay? It landed like this on a parachute. Mm -hmm. You know what a parachute is? Yeah. Yeah. So it did not crash. When they translated this, that is a bad translation. It landed softly. It did not crash. Okay. I so, understand. All right. So were you watching this space flight? Yeah. What did you think? Um, I think it's interesting. Okay. So is this the kind of thing that you would want to do in 10 or 15 of years? Of course. Okay. Now, I noticed it said that, first of all, he was a fighter pilot. Okay. Yeah. Now, do, do you understand what a fighter is? Yeah. He yeah. fights with uh, space ships with, with airplanes like um airplanes, look at these right. are these are fighters fighter jets yes these are fighters okay so he was a fighter pilot but then he became an astronaut well but first he became a pilot with turkish airlines right now have you ever flown on turkish airlines um once where did you go? Uh, to Mardin. Mardin. Okay, down in the south, right? Yeah. Correct. Yes, I know where that is. Okay, so you flew. Um, do you think it is a good airline? Yeah. Yeah. I've heard it's Turkish Airlines is very good. It, it's very, 
very good okay now when he went up into space he went from florida do you know where florida is yeah okay so can you on my map behind me can you see florida can you see florida on this map yeah is this florida I can't see well. Okay, I'm sorry. I'll show you. Okay, Florida is right here. Yeah, I understand. Florida's there. Now I live right here. I am in Georgia, right here. Oh, you are okay. near here. Yeah, pretty near. I've been. In fact, we are going to Florida for Christmas next month. Um, Florida has really beautiful beaches. It's a nice place to go, and even in the winter time it's pretty warm it's a pretty nice place to go okay so that's a little bit about his mission so he was um three weeks it was a three-week trip um what does that mean three-week trip um it's uh it's past for uh, three weeks to go space right right so three weeks 21 days he was yeah. in space for 21 days. Well, this is exciting. And he is the first Turkish astronaut. Maybe you will be the second, third, fourth. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. That would be really cool. And I could yeah. say, I knew him when he was just a little boy. <laughs> okay. All right. Today, I wanted to look at some words. And... So I want to look at these words over here on the right side of the page. Let me make that a little bit bigger. All right. Can you pronounce those six words? Uh, I can't see them. Oh, I'm sorry. Now, it's funny. On my screen, it shows that it's working. Let me try again. Um, before that, can I say something? Go right ahead. Um, uh, you know, uh, the first lesson that we do... Uh, when I I was at fifth grade, yes, uh, I have a trial lesson, so I can talk with you. And uh, now I sc scribed the Cambly, and I have two half past two hours, half two no, two and a half, two and a half hours yeah. at Cambly in a week, and I want to, as uh, my brother, uh, you are a too pretty cool teacher. Oh, thank you. Uh, yeah. uh, my brother is nine years old. Uh, can mm -hmm. he speak with you once a week, please? Yes, of course. Yes, of course. Now, and, go ahead. Uh, if you want, he is near me. Uh, he can speak with you too. He's here right now, you mean? Yeah. Okay, he can say hello. Hello, little brother. What is your name? My name is Bar. I am pleased to meet you. My name is Bernie. Well, I guess I will see you next week, right? Of course. Okay. All right. Well, I'll finish with Rezan and then I'll see you next week, okay? Okay. Okay. Good night. Good night. Okay. Good night. Okay. All right. Okay, Rezan. So um i will send you some reservations i just want you to make sure to tell me who i am going to see if i'm going to see you or if i'm going to see your brother just make sure i know because i will be ready obviously you will do a more difficult lesson than he will do so i will okay. be ready for you or i will be ready for him okay? okay now i know you have a sister will i see her or not um, I don't know. Can I ask my father for five, one minute? Go right ahead. Go right ahead. Okay. And my father said that uh, she can speak too. Okay. Okay. I will send some reservations. Then you just let me know if I'm seeing you or your brother or your sister. Okay. Okay. I am okay. Sure. All right. So can you see those six words? 
Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and pronounce them for me. Uh, Roque. Uh, am I read them? That's right. Rough. Go ahead. Uh, grudge, stunt, thump, once another. Your pronunciation is very good. That's very good. Now, I wanted to say one thing about word number four. First of all, what is word number four? Show me, show me thumb. Uh, thumb. Um, if I say something, I don't know it. Okay. Thumb. Uh, That's your thumb. Oh, the finger. Yeah, this is my thumb. Well, oh. it's not any finger. It's just this finger. This is the thumb. That's the thumb. Okay. Those are your mm -hmm. thumbs. Okay. Thumb. I don't know why, but the B in thumb is silent. Yeah. So when you say it, it's just thumb. There's no B sound at all. It's just thumb. Okay. Mm -hmm. right. So you have two thumbs. Okay. Um, we also sometimes use thumb as a verb. So this would be thumb. Thumb is when you look through something like this. Hmm. I'm thumbing through the book okay okay so when you turn the pages very thumb slowly through. like this you thumb through the book okay i understand all right okay let's go on then okay are there any of those words you already know uh once another okay maybe i know the other spots i can't remember them <laughs> that's okay that's okay so what is once? Uh, once is something that we do for one time. Right. Once right. a week. So once you went to Martin. How many times did you go to Martin? One time you yeah. went once. Yeah. Okay. So or you went on an airplane once. Okay. What is another? I can't remember it. Okay. Um, I give you one marker and I give you another. Okay. So another I is kind of like a second one. So do you see that word in Turkish? The same thing that you write me now? Yes, I put it in the chat. It's in the chat. Birdirjan, birdirjiri. Birdire. Right, right. Your Turkish is much better than mine. <laughs> okay. I so that would be. Turkey, so it's not something yeah. too much. Yeah, I understand. Don't don't worry about it. Okay. Now I also wanted to take just a second and look at this one. Rough. Do you see the word rough there? Yeah. Okay. Um, rough means more than one thing. Sometimes it means difficult. So if you were at school and you had a math test and it was very difficult, you might come home and say, say that math test was rough. Well, I understand. Very difficult. Um, now it has other meanings, but that's one of them. And I think that that's a good enough meaning for right now. Okay. So we will continue looking at these words next time. But first of all, I want to go ahead and move over and look at some stories today and just get started on a story and see what we think. And this story is on a um, sixth grade reading level. And I realize that's a little bit below you, but I'd like to just give it a try. So mm -hmm. let's see how it goes for you. The Adventures of Robin Hood, Chapter One, Trouble in the Forest. Okay, now, have you heard of Robin Hood before? Yeah, I already did. Okay, okay. And you know that hundreds of years ago, hood in English meant a thief, someone who steals things. Yeah. Someone who takes things. It doesn't mean that anymore but that's what it used to. Be. Every now and then I will pause the story 
and we'll look at some words. Now, can you, do you see what I typed in the chat? Yeah. Okay. An outlaw is a criminal or a thief. Okay. okay. Your I... dad wants, your dad would be happy if you were an astronaut. He would not be happy if you were an outlaw. Okay. Because yeah. that's a bad thing. And Robin Hood always said, rob from the rich, give to the poor. I understand. I hear okay. you. Now, the bad guy in the story is the sheriff. And a sheriff is sort of a police officer. Um, let me translate that to Turkish. Serif, sheriff, okay? About yeah. the same thing, okay? Now, it also mentions that Robin was an archer. Do you know what an archer is? Uh, something used bow and um, arrow. Arrows. Right, a bow and arrow. So Robin was an archer. Okay, so archery. Okay, he did that kind of thing. Now it also mentioned here he is walking through the fields and he sees apple blossoms. What is yeah. a blossom? Um, blossom is something that didn't been yet. Okay, okay, okay. Um, now, it is a flower and it is a very young flower, a very new flower. Okay. Someday, someday these blossoms will be apples, but now they're blossoms. They're not apples. Not yet. Okay. They will be. Okay. So someday they will be. Blossom also means when something is starting to grow and is doing well. So um, you are a blossoming English student because you are learning English and you're growing and you'll learn more and more and more. Okay. Okay. All right. We will continue this story when I see you again. Um, Razan, is there any kind of um, story or, or thing that you would be especially interested in? Um, let me think about it. I don't think so. Okay. Well, we will try Robin Hood for a while and see how that goes. And we'll work on studying words and learning new words. And um, I look forward to it. Now, Rezan, I have to tell you, it is funny that I met you three and a half years ago, but I still remember you. It's interesting. It's yeah. more interesting for me. Yeah. So do you, um, I mean, do you remember me from three and a half years ago? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, actually, in the first time that I write you, uh, I think that I remember you, I seen you, but I I didn't promise that it's be it's you. So I write like that. Yes. Like the first time. Okay. Well, I am really happy to be working with you. you okay, I will send some reservations for next week. For now, good night to you. Good night, see you. Good night. Bye bye. Good night.